got a silver dollar right here and I'm just going to put that right here behind my ring. As a matter of fact, the thumb is completely engaged, making that a tight fist, but it doesn't matter because that coin is still gone. I call this the behind the ring coin vanish. This is a creative life skill and I'm going to show it to you right now. Let's do it. Creative life skills will help you be creative if you do them. Um, creative life skills will make you a more interesting human. Hi gang, this is another vanish that you've probably never seen. I think that's because I think I made it up, but I never know. <laughs> I just fool around with coins and so this is one of the things that I've been fooling around with. Uh, but what I like is it's using your ring as a bit of misdirection. Okay, some fine print on misdirection. Misdirection is just getting the audience to look for a fraction of a second at a place where you are comfortable for them to look so you can do the dirty work without being scared of the dirty work. <laughs> uh, and what's great about misdirection is it doesn't have to be far away from the dirty work. Okay, so I'm having people look at my ring while I'm having them do that. I have just done the dirty work right underneath their nose and it's it, it looks so it looks like this. I want them to look at my ring. As a matter of fact, what's great is maybe it's even better if I tell them to look at my ring before I do the trick. I say, check, check this out. This is my ring. I'm going to put the coin right behind my ring and I've already done the dirty work. The, the, the dirty work is already done. But I am having everybody focus on the ring so that right behind it, I can do stuff that is pretty deceptive and people won't even have the idea of what's going on. So, what's going on? Okay, so this vanish is a false put. Oh man, it could almost be considered a steal, but it really is a false put. I'm not really putting the coin into my hand. I've already got it right here. And, uh, but I, but I am sort of stealing it away too. So it's, I don't know, it's a hybrid, whatever. But uh, the idea is I am taking the coin. I'll do this without closing my hand. The, the left hand masks this motion. I'm acting like I'm putting the coin down. I'm letting it rest on my ring finger. And then my middle finger comes in with it. And then I just curl the fist. And then my thumb moves this in. So now I have it in my palm. Okay. So again, it's this. I'm here like so. This finger comes and it whisks it away. And with my thumb, all I have to do is, is once this comes in like this, my thumb just blocks from view the coin. So again, the move is this but you use your hand. The hand, it creates that little table. So it's just resting on my hand. And now I can curl those fingers in. My thumb blocks it from view. And then I just come around and I point at the ring with this finger. Now this happens so fast that they don't even really have a chance to think that there's anything in, in this hand. Okay, so uh, usually when you do stuff like this, and especially if you're using, like look at my ring. The coin is right behind my ring and you can do something with the, uh, the engagement of the thumb to, you know, you can pantomime that you can do whatever you want. I've got a tight fist, but it doesn't matter because that coin is still gone and I've just got the coin palmed here. By the way, I've got a whole nother video on, uh, on how to conceal coins, how to do, uh, you know, convincer moves. Uh, so I'll leave that up here so you can take a look at that. But, uh, but again, too, you put the coin just down on the base, on the palm of your hand, uh, right about, right about there ish. Okay. I drop it down. So now it's just sitting on that ring finger. When this comes down, I actually, I close my hand and I can do that whatever way I want. And then look at, I am not giving even a window to the audience. I'm just bringing this around and pointing to my ring. And then I can bring the thumb around. Now all focus is here. So I have dropped this hand down to the side and I have now safely palmed that coin. But they think it's here and then you can reveal any way that you want. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you that from the back side so that it makes just a little bit more sense. Okay, so I've got my palm, my hand, my, my landing pad essentially, and I bring this, show them the coin, act like I'm closing my fingers while I'm doing that. Look at, 
there's just no space here. I don't leave any space. I just curl it around and I point at my ring just like that. So again, bring the coin, drop it, close my fingers around it and point to the ring. And then this one comes out of play and then I put the thumb over the top and now everyone thinks that the coin is here. That's it. <laughs> Okay, so then if you do like, uh, I'll, I'll you know close your palm like mystically like that. That that looks pretty cool because then it looks like you're doing kind of a magical move. Like, look at my ring. You can see that the coin is safely tucked behind my ring, but is it? What? <gasps> it's gone. Or you can just drop it. You can drop the coin like that. I sort of have come to like this. Now this comes with sort of a two phase, two move thing. Is you just drop the coin and then you don't have to do the. Blah, 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 blah. You know, you can just sort of go like this, but it's for, for me, it helps me to just sort of, I've got the coin in this hand. So I, it, it looks like you're dropping it, but really all that's happening is you, you're, you're just putting the coin, <laughs> you're dropping it, but this, this finger, your ring finger is poised and ready for it to be landed on right from the beginning. I am dropping that down so that it lands right there. But then in the, just sort of the moving everything this away, uh, that creates enough misdirection. So that's just another option for you. Uh, you know, if you want to do it a little bit more mystically, you can do it like that, uh, which, you know, is great. But, you know, just if you're doing the offhand thing and you're just going to looking like you're putting it in your hand, this works too. Same result, same thing. I've really come to like stealing it from these two fingers. Now, uh, could you do it from your pinky? Uh, kind of like a himber, yeah. But I've I, I found no advantage. I've tried it that I tried it with that way too. You could you could if you wanted if you want to try it with your pinky and steal it away with your ring and pinky finger, you can do that too. Uh, but but that I didn't see for me after practicing this a lot, I didn't see that there was any advantage to that. Oh, and just for clarity, I wanted to just sort of do a little quick thing on which side do you do you let it land on. Do you let it go like this? Do you, do, you, like, do you let it flip forward? Do you let, let it flip backwards? I let it flip backwards. In other words, whatever side is facing me, that's the side that's going down. Okay, so the coin comes like down like this onto the landing pad. I'm putting my finger on the back side of it. You could experiment with the front side if you want, but the, I don't... It, that's not what I'm teaching here today. <laughs> so you can you can do whatever you want, but uh, but yeah, it, it's basically it's it's landing on the backside, like that. Okay, very good. Yeah, the behind the ring vanish. So I hope you guys like this. Uh, if you do, if you got something out of this, I hope that you'll give this video a thumbs up. Uh, and until next time, my name's Pete. You're watching Hey Pete. It's a creative life, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.